Take this job and shove it. I ain't working here no more. Woman done left, took the reason that I've been working for. You better not try to stand in my way as I'm walking out the door. You can take this job and shove it. I ain't working here no more. Hello, it's Wednesday, December 10th, 2008. I'm John Pachkowski, and this is Digital Daily. Yahoo added to the mounting job losses in the global economy today, following through with plans to slash its workforce by 10%. Some 1,500 employees will lose their jobs as part of what Yahoo management describes as, quote, an ongoing effort to foster a culture of efficiency and cost discipline. What? Clearly, the Yahoo executive that penned that asinine statement didn't attend the company's holiday party last weekend because there was no cost discipline on display there. Pirate ships and showgirls and Elvis wedding chapels, yes. Cost discipline and conscience, no. The Tina Turner impersonator and the portable Eiffel Tower were a nice touch, though, weren't they? Telecom giant Nortel has been struggling for longer than I care to remember. Last month, an analyst saw a strong possibility of bankruptcy down the road for the company. Well, looks like that road was a short one because the company has hired counsel to explore, you guessed it, a bankruptcy filing. Apparently that government aid deal isn't really working out. Since 2005, South Korea has required all cell phones sold in the country to support the WIPI standard for handsets. That's effectively locked out Apple, Nokia, Sony Ericsson, and anyone else interested in that vigorous market. Well, that will all change on April 1st. The Korea Communications Commission today agreed to lift the WIPI requirement, paving the way for the iPhone and BlackBerry to make their debut in the country. That's it for Digital Daily. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow.